Next piece of news here. Walmart lets sellers list used collectibles and runs a special promotion. Um, so essentially, they are from July 1st to September 30th. They're allowing you to list collectible items without a fee. But I think the bigger story here is that they are um, allowing more collectibles and used things on their marketplace, which I don't believe they've done that in the past. Um, thoughts on that, Leslie? Okay, good for you, Walmart. I have really enjoyed watching Walmart over the last year because they're actually starting to chip away a little bit. They're actually starting to improve their market share. If you look at all the stats for them, um, they are growing online. Uh, at first, I hated their redesign, not going to lie. But now that I'm used to it, there is something insane about being able to order an item that's not available in store and it arrives on my doorstep in like three hours and I don't pay anything shipping for it. That's yeah. that's crazy it's coming from like a distribution center instead of from a store it's amazing um so they've really invested and gone all in to try and compete against amazon and i think that this is one of those things where some you know project manager said i've heard from a lot of sellers over on amazon that collectibles are not really welcome right now uh we've got sellers who sell high end collectibles um who have always who are names you'd recognize like people who are respected in the industry and Amazon doesn't want any part of it. And they're doing this bizarre thing in enforcement where they're applying the same invoice standards to collectible and used items that they are to new, which is insanity. It's not even their SOP, I would hope. Um, and it's making it very frustrating. Uh, so, you know, good for you, Walmart, to try and really take some market share maybe away from Amazon and pull a little from eBay. Uh, and get this stuff up on their platform. I don't know if it'll work, but I think it'll be really fun to watch. And if I were a seller in the collectible space, I'd be all over that just to see what happens. Give it a test. Yeah, yeah. My first thought was definitely um, competing a little bit more with eBay because I, I think that's eBay's kind of last stand is on like collectibles <laughs> and things like that. Uh, where people go there and and use stuff in general. Typically, there's a lot more on eBay. It's easier to find mm -hmm. uh, when you're looking for something. Like, for example, I was just looking for uh, um, an, a replacement antenna for a 2016 Jeep Patriot. And finding that kind of stuff on eBay is a lot easier. So maybe this is something with Walmart uh, to try to target that market a little bit. Uh, what do you think, Kevin? I think, yeah, I agree with you that they're going after eBay with this. And I think some of it is because they're not getting the traction going after Amazon that they had hoped. And maybe they're trying to go after another marketplace being eBay because eBay is kind of dying on the vine. Like when I got started selling in 2015, it was like people would talk about like there was Amazon and then eBay was kind of like almost a close second. Like yeah. I don't really hear people talk about eBay all that much. And, you know, so... Leslie's point, it's been interesting the last couple of years to watch Walmart and kind of see how they are growing and evolving. They're doing better. They're they're making progress. I don't want to take that away from them. But, you know, I think in the seller community, there was all this thought to like, oh, Walmart was going to be the next big stand of, you know, uh, someone to compete with Amazon. And I don't think it's really panned out. So I think they're pivoting, trying to find other ways that they can grow their platform. And maybe they're thinking of it as like, okay, if someone comes to buy a high-end baseball card or something like that that now they can buy groceries and buy other marketplace items. So maybe it's just another way to get more customers and whatever too. So, I mean, kudos to them for trying something different. Yeah, absolutely. And, and uh, it would kind of be cool to see them start like collectible auctions or something like that. Then it'd really be target <laughs> yes. yeah, for sure. Wall Bay. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> Rachel thoughts on this. I mean, it just reminds me of when Amazon launched Z Shops. And like you guys probably don't remember Z Shops, but occasionally you'll get a report from Amazon where the header says something like Z Shop in the header. And there's just like some weird stuff left over in the databases from back when that was a thing. And that was Amazon's first foray into trying to compete with eBay. Yeah. And they did a whole auction site. And it was an absolutely miserable failure. <laughs> it didn't work at all. And it just it just reminds me of all this, the memes I've been seeing about 
Justin and Brittany being in the news because Brittany now has a number one single after Justin Timberlake got arrested and everything. It all feels very 20 years ago. <laughs> I don't know if that's where I'd be bragging about launching something new. Yeah. Yeah. We're going going back in time. Um, I don't know how many people actually still use auctions too much on eBay, if that's the largest part of their business still, or if it's the buy it now. I always use the buy it now if I do go there and buy something. Yeah. Almost everything is moved to buy it now on eBay. I'm also a longtime seller of sold since 2010 on both platforms, Amazon and eBay. And uh, consumers really don't love the auction format for most things. I think there are some still some fun lot kind of things you can do where it's a gamified and fun. Um, but most stuff, I think people actually prefer to buy it now. Yeah, I know my brother, he likes to sell uh, like Magic the Gathering and different trading cards and stuff like that. So he'll go on eBay and try to win lots auctions mm -hmm. of these cards, you know, 500 cards for a hundred bucks or whatever, and then sell them individually and maybe make 500 or a thousand dollars selling them individually. So there's still definitely that market, but definitely shrinking on the auction side. And then we've got Craigslist too. We forgot about Craigslist. Anybody still shop on Craigslist? I don't think so. Never shopped on Craigslist. <laughs> <laughs> I think Craigslist has moved to Facebook Marketplace. That's where all, all that trade went. Way. For sure. All right, cool. So it'll be cool to see where that goes. I mean, I, I would love to see Amazon take more market share and compete. We, we need more competition and um, it'd be better to have it from a U.S. company than the, you know, like Shen and Temu and TikTok. Yeah. This has been another episode of the Amazon Seller School podcast. Thanks for listening, fellow Amazon seller. And always remember, success is yours if you take it.